Hey guys, Zach here at eTrailer.com and today we're going to be taking a look at this LED RV porch light or utility light. You can see we have it on an enclosed trailer today, so it works out well for those as well. This is going to be a really nice bright white light, so it's going to help illuminate the area in our entryways or our patios depending on where we have that on our trailer. But the best part about this one in my opinion, other than the LED, is that it has this nice light switch. So I can easily reach this one here on this trailer, but if you had it near an entryway, you can get it right there on the steps. But you can also hook it up to a light switch on the inside too, so it kind of is more uniform with your lights on the exterior of your trailer. So you can see that really nice, clear, white, bright light that this has. If you're looking for something that maybe won't attract as many bugs, we also have this exact light with an amber lens on it that does a really nice job. We've actually tested it out on this trailer. It looks pretty good. But then also we have a black housing with the white clear lens on there as well. So all of those are gonna be really good options. This has a really nice ABS plastic housing on it, so it's really durable. I don't see much coming into contact with this, but let's say you did maybe chip this because you hit it with something. These lens caps are removable. They are pretty hard to get in and out, but that's the way you would want it. You don't want that loose, allowing water to get in there. But this is gonna be a really nice design. Now when it comes to getting a light like this, you may be replacing an old one or just putting a new one on like we did with this one today. Um, you may be looking at incandescent lights and those are a more affordable option. They do a good job of doing their job of lighting things up, but the filaments on the inside of those bulbs tend to break often, especially the vibrations in your trailer. So I think LED is the way to go. You may have to spend a little bit more, but they're gonna last longer. I think they have a much more modern look to it. They burn a little bit cleaner. They don't take as much energy. We actually have this just hooked up to a 12 volt battery today. Um, you could easily run this to a switch though on the inside of your trailer if you wanted it to be more uniform with the rest of the exterior lights. But I think that it burns cleaner, it looks modern, but the temperature thing too, like when a light gets warmer, not only you know are you gonna battle the bugs being attracted to the light, but the warmer light has been known to attract bugs as well. So I think LED is the way to go. I like that this lens is angled down and the reflector in there is gonna do a good job of pushing that light and spreading it out on the ground instead of shooting it straight out. So that's what we want. We want our area kind of lit up. We don't wanna to have to have multiple lights, but it's not gonna be a harsh spotlight either. Now when it comes to measurements on this, this is going to measure six inches long by three and a half and it has a depth of two inches max. So it's not gonna take up a lot of space, but it's definitely something to keep in mind when it comes to mounting this. Overall, I think this is a really good light. It's going to be a nice option when you're looking for something that is not very difficult to install, but it's gonna provide good light on the exterior of your trailer. It comes with everything that you need to get this hooked up. I swapped out some parts. Um, it's not too difficult of an installation. Just make sure that your battery or your power is disconnected before you do that. But let's just show you how we got this installed. Now the first thing we had to do was get power and ground to the inside of our trailer. Now we already had some that were there. I've just had this run into a battery on the inside of the trailer and then I have ground on the frame on the inside there. So we're gonna take our light. I popped the lens off of there and it comes with screws and some wire nuts. Now, I don't think these wire nuts are ideal for trailer use, so we're gonna swap it out for some butt connectors. Those wire nuts are great for home use, but as you're going down the road, those vibrations may come loose with that, so this is just a little bit more secure way to do that. So my wires are already stripped, and these came pre-stripped, so we'll just get those twisted up, and I'm gonna get a connector on each one of these. Now for me, I find it easiest to get these connected up on the trailer side first. So we'll get those put in place. Make sure we've got, got it in there good. And I'm just gonna repeat that process for my ground there, which is the white wire. Now, since these are gonna be on the inside of our trailer, it's not necessary to use heat shrink. You can definitely do it if you'd like, but we're just using regular butt connectors here. And then we can just match up our color wires here, black to black, which is power, and then the white will be our ground. Get 
that crimp down. Let's see, we've got a nice good connection. We'll finish it up with our ground there. Now we can feed those wires in once we get that crimped in all the way. And I'm just gonna mark my holes with a small drill bit. I don't really wanna run anything on here with like a self tapper too hard because this aluminum siding is pretty thin. So once I get those in there, make sure they're sitting down in that little recessed backing there so we don't smash them up. But I'll make sure I get this as even as possible. So we can get that fed in place Get all the wires in there, make sure they're sitting in that little recessed backing there. And I'm going to mark my holes once I get this lined up where I want it. I'm just going to do a little pilot hole there, uh, another one up here. And then we can start getting our screws in place. And then I'm just going to use a Phillips screwdriver to get these put in place because I don't want to have to strip out the sides of this trailer here if we ever take those off. We can get that in there too much and we maybe not get a good hold on the side of our trailer. Now I'm only putting two screws in there today for demonstration purposes, but you can see even with those two in there, it holds it in place just fine. Uh, so if you wanted to use the additional two, you're totally fine, but today we're just using those two. Then we can get that lens cap put in place. Now that I have the battery connected, we can test this out. You can see we're working them just fine. And that's gonna do it for our look at the LED RV porch light and utility light.